As Apex's resident map guy, I often get asked about what I consider to be the best POI in Apex Legends. And when I am asked, I respond with, well, you know, it really depends on your playstyle and team composition. Some POIs are better than others at certain things, and finding what works best for you and is most fun to play in is what works. But that isn't good enough. I needed to find the definitive answer, the one POI that stands above everybody else. And I would go through every single one, past and present, to find it. So I reached out to the top minds of Apex Legends, and we got to work finding the best POI in the game. To do this, we had to use the greatest method to determine the rank of every location. We made a tier list. Doing a tier list today of all of the POIs in Apex Legends. Every single one. Okay. Yeah, I will say, I for any map that's not World's Edge or Storm Point, <laughs> like, this, I will not be grading it on anything related to competitive for the most part, because <laughs> don't I don't know. Like, I don't really pay attention to those maps enough to really know if TSM thinks that this map, you know, this POI is good or not. Like, I, yeah. you know, so. Jayhawk's, Jayhawk's extent of knowledge on POIs is, does Raven say this is a good POI? Exactly, exactly. Yeah, I watch coaches <laughs> tier list, and then, like, I go in the occasional pros chat and be like, yo, Fish Farms is good or not? Ah, yeah, that's <laughs> all right. I guess I guess yeah, we should we'll just start. I guess we should just yeah. start. First one, first and foremost, airbase. How do we feel about airbase? I don't know. That's I good stuff. I love airbase. I think it's one of the better POIs on Kings Canyon. Now I okay. could be wrong, but I think TSM's first ever comp apex win in a tournament was at airbase. Um, when Albert Lely's got like the Mastiff and like they have Snipe Down's team, which was Reciprocity as a duo pinned on uh, in like the little room up on kind of like the north side above the mm -hmm. second dock where like that cliff is. I could be wrong. I don't know if that was their first win, but I think it's there. So there's some crazy history here that we might be not thinking about. I, I, I wonder what how many stories you're going to be bringing up over the course of like the 90 POIs we got to go through. Oh, yeah, I was going to say, seeing how many POIs we got, I actually <laughs> okay. might try to keep it to a low okay. so that we can get yeah. through them. So okay. why don't we well, just... Yeah, let's get let's get, yeah. let's get get our grade for airbase. I want I want each of you guys to pick one and then we'll pick a consensus after that. So what where, where, are, we, where are we thinking for airbase? I personally put like D tier. Yeah. I didn't like it. Like it. I'll go C because of the history, but we got a long list and a long list of better POIs. Okay. I would say C2. Yeah, I think I think that's where it evens out. Okay, C. Right there. All right, next one. We're going over to Olympus with Energy Depot. It's like a really good, like, flexible POI because you have that balloon. Uh, it's got, like, solid loot. It's center of the map, like, a lot of stuff like that. In ranked, it's always just a cluster fest, dude. Like, so many teams decide to land in Energy Depot. So I think it's fun. I also don't really like a majority of like the middle POIs inside of Olympus, but I think Energy Depot is actually like, kind of a solid one, so I like it. Yeah, I think Energy Depot is the reason why I hate Olympus, and it's because, like you said, everyone either drops there or then the yeah. map almost like whenever like the circle ends, I feel like I'm always funneled through Energy Depot, and that's right. where all the fights happen and I die. The biggest thing for me, and the thing that knocks it down so much, is just how much of a gateway it is to so sure. much of the rest of the map like that's what i mean all of this that has to go through energy depot or turbine to have any chance of rotating mm -hmm. so i mm -hmm. feel like how do you guys i mean i know we're not talking about turbine yet mm -hmm. but what do you guys think of turbine because i have always like kind of liked energy depot because i hate turbine and energy depot is like the alternative that i would prefer to go through if i have to choose one you know what i mean mm. I, I have to say though i really like turbine <laughs> really I, I like landing there it's kind of it's it's this thing landing where, there is different i guess yeah landing there like it's it's not like the big gatekeeping issue it's this nice not great center location where you can loot up and go go wherever you want and that's that was really fun for me playing it but i know rotating through it is absolutely god awful it's energy depot but even worse how about we actually give both turbine and energy depot since we talked about both of them which what would we give both yeah, we'll do We'll do both. That's a good point. I'd give I Turbine go... F tier. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> I give, uh, you know, Turbine D. I'm not going okay. over to F. I'll go D Turbine. And then Energy Depot. I still think because I might be biased of crap to Storm Point and like World's Edge POIs. So like I'll go B tier for Energy Depot. Energy Depot. Uh, I didn't say, I, I, I would say B too. Would you get uh, B or? I had B. You said I had a. B. Jay had A. I had A. I had A. How about high B? High B yeah. so far. High B. Okay. Energy Depot high B. Hi. So real quick, I just have to explain that while we did go through every single POI, 
I'm not going to be showing every single one here in this video. If I went through all 116 POIs that we talked about, well, we'd be here all day. So instead, I'm going to show you the highlights and we'll cut through as we go along. Now, at this point, we were eventually asked, well, what is the criteria for this tier list? And we had some good responses. By the way, Rui asked in the chat, we ranking POI for its coolness or actual in-game quality? Um, anything, honestly. Like, oh, this is what I'll um, say, Rui. This is a very, very scientific tier yes. list, taking a yeah. lot of facts and uh, hard analytics, little thought into it. Again, that's why Jayhawk's here. Yeah. Uh, so um, basically everything we say is absolutely uh, truth. I, I would even say, uh, you know, if you're religious gospel. Now we're actually going to a uh, fun part to talk about Ooh. North Pad. We're talking about North Pad. North Pad. Thank God. All right. Well, this is where my, my like competitive stuff really comes in. And I love watching North Pad zones because I love the trench warfare that goes on, dude. Like it just the teams who are so good at fighting in those trenches, they can get away with so much that you can't in a lot of other POIs because of the fact that like you have cover just kind of built into the what's happening. And so I I wouldn't put it like S tier, but I really enjoy North Pad games. So I would go like A tier, honestly. Uh, I'm just going to agree A because I've, I've, I'm have i still looking at how many are here and I know I don't want to yeah. be here for three hours. Yeah. So I'm just going to put that there, right there. Okay. Capital City. I'm going to rush the gun here. I'm saying yeah. S. I'm saying S immediately. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I yeah, love yeah. Capital, Capital City, City. dude. Was they, it Capital City was a goaded BOI. I don't like the Fisher through the middle and the frag, the fraggies. Capital City yeah. was goaded beforehand. They they should never have gotten rid of Capital City. That's the I, I'm in agreement. All right, S tier. All right, done. Yep. Let's let's just keep, keep moving. Uh, Mill, we got Mill next. Yeah, I mean it's a goaded POI. DZ won a land from it. Like it's I think it's really fun to play and ranked. I love watching contests there because they're really fast and like pretty quick 50-50s. It's got some iconic moments, even like, you know, the the NRG Trident video that Jumbo just put out kind of starts from there. Optic thirding the game before. Um, I don't know. It's, it's got a lot of great moments. I love Mill. I think it's an awesome POI both to play at and to watch. There's like so many good things. Like Jay pretty much said, at least from the competitive and playability aspect, it all, it's like got to be the most versatile POI there was. Okay. I, I think yes. we have a pretty clear consensus on S tier, unless you have any opinions, Jumbo. S, yeah. SS. Yeah. All right. Capital City is a nostalgia fun thing. Mill is now our top one at S. Nice. Okay. First POI that we're going on to Broken Moon for. I, the first season that Broken Moon came out, me and my boys, it was the long one too. It was like the 90 day split or whatever was happening. Like me and my boys grinded Broken Moon. And since then I have never played it again. I hate the map because of that grind. And so I know this map very well and I dislike it. Can we can we all actually just agree on something right now? It's the dead last one on the tier list. Promenade, can we put that in F? I hate Promenade. <laughs> I will always hate Promenade. Is, is, that POI sucks so bad. So the only thing I know about Broken Moon is when I do play there, I just drop at that because it's dead center of the map. And I just try to fight. Yeah, but like it, the, I feel like the map forces you to rotate there so much harder than it does any of the other and central I, POIs, and it sucks. Die there always because there's just constant fights happening and you just can't yeah, get through. It just sucks, and it's not enjoyable. Like just I'm I'm gonna say this now. Put it in F, and if you guys disagree. <laughs> I, we might not be friends anymore. I don't know. We, we actually don't even have to put it on the list if you really do, if you feel that passionate about it. I'm okay, okay. just kicking wait, wait, it wait. off the list. Wait, wait, wait. Can I, can I add a tier? Can I add a tier? Make another How tier that's just like promenade. Tier? Yeah. I think production yard is okay because it has a lot of... Right, we're, still, we're still on Olympus for the next one, which is going to be uh, actually one, one of my favorites. Uh, it's going to be Carrier, which is going to be up here. Can I just... Uh, out of curiosity, have yeah. either of you ever listened to... You know Wyatt from the Apex? He has another podcast called Grab My Banner. Have either of you ever listened to anything from that? Sounds it's pretty funny. Uh, they exclusively refer to Carrier as Big Blue Dick. Yes, he's told me that. He's told so. me that. <laughs> I mean, it's even pointing towards a big hole. Oh, God. 
<laughs> oh my god. Yeah, yeah, it's good to land at. I feel like I die every time I'm there, though, and, like, I feel like that's where I fall off the map 90% of the time. Yeah, um, it looks like a penis, so... And it looks like a penis. Sure, you can throw it F tier if you want. First F tier is carrier. <laughs> Overlook. God, you ruined it for me, Jayhawk. You ruined it. My fault. My fault. Right. Just know there's another ship that they also <laughs> refer to that as. Out of curiosity, I'm just trying to understand because uh, it's a big blue dick. Why are we putting that in F tier and not S tier? Like, I mean, I was gonna say we put a tier like, above S tier. That's like. Yeah, yeah, like dick tier. Oh, PG, sure, like, PB tier works. PB tier works. There you go. <laughs> Uh, I think PBT has to be above Promenade, though. We have to yeah, keep yeah, Promenade. Okay, yeah, yeah, it does have to be above Promenade. It, you know, it, can, be be above. it can be above F2. There you go. Hold on, let's just get this out of the way now. I think we gotta throw Icarus in PBT here. Okay. <laughs> it's the same thing. It's just the okay. same thing. Okay. okay. But wait, it's, wait, got wait. A, it's got an STD. Yeah, it's true. It's that got is, that an STD. Orange, that's an orange dick. That's an orange dick right there. <laughs> Whatever. Okay, Overlook. Let's please talk Overlook. Overlook. Back to serious. We're serious now. Yeah. Professionals. Considering the moreover didn't even make day two, like like I think S uh, F a uh, tier. I'm just kidding. I think <laughs> over looks like there. like C D. Also, oh. he just walked away from his camera. So I'm not. Oh, he's gone, gone. Okay, he's this pissed. is my stream now. How's it going, guys? So welcome back. I'm moreover, and I do what, voiceovers. Now, if you want to be moreover, you got to do hi. I'm moreover, yeah. and I'm, I'm gonna. Moreover. You know, yeah, you got to do his <laughs> intro, dude. Hi. I'm moreover, and this is the art of the contest. This is the art of getting eliminated on day two or on day one. Oh shoot! I, I just wanted I wanted to be known. I got eliminated at dome, <laughs> not overlook. Okay, I got. I will say, at dome. dome sucks. Dome sucks. Yeah, so I do feel for you. I'd go overlook like C D. I would argue for low B. I would sure. argue for high C. I don't think it's in the class of Energy Depot Oasis. You know, I think it's a step below those. True. Okay, okay fine. <laughs> <laughs> All right, artillery. Yeah, that works. Crap TSM ball. also won a game here at X Games. Yeah. Just throwing it out there. She almost got all the King's Canyon references, dude. I don't remember like almost any of these. I'm telling you guys, I think I said this last night to Jay. I know more about like 2019 to 2021 than I probably do about like the last year. Uh, I believe okay. it now. Like this is the first time I'm like seeing yeah. it on full display, dude. <laughs> He's just pulling all these references out of like, yeah, there was a clutch 1v3 here. Get someone a game there. Like, but anyway, I digress. Yeah. Okay. Uh, anyways, uh, see? Sure. Uh, yeah. Okay. Um, I don't know what the next one that is up, but let's just let's just go through some of the goaded ones. Let's take lightning rod. Thoughts? Lightning rod. I'm saying, yeah. I'm saying S. I think lightning rod's overrated. I think that TSM really? is washed. I think that Raven what? doesn't know what he's doing, and I think Alliance is also stupid. So yeah, I probably put it in like an F as well. Yeah, <laughs> I'm, being, I'm being sarcastic. <laughs> I think it's kind of hard to have a real take on lightning rod. It's like it's a it's sick boy, and like especially because like from edge with the elevation like your rotations can be pretty pretty smooth uh on storm point with it so you know yeah i think it's one of the best uh edge pois in the game and the only poi that you could argue is better would be mill just because of the flexibility mm -hmm. mill offers i where agree lightning is a very specific play style which doesn't make it bad but does make it so that if you're not good at that play style you probably shouldn't be going there um uh, where yeah. anybody could land at mill and do good okay Lightning rod is old. Best, lightning rod or new? I best. think both. Okay, hold yourself in, Jumba. Hold it. We're going to it's market. Where monsoon became. It's where monsoon became what? famous. Uh, the one, the Kraber shot on Shroud. Other than that, though, I, I've always thought, like since the beginning of the game, market was like, it was like it's outside Skull Town. It was still a hot drop kind of kind of spot. Had good loot. Has good rotations. I like it. For Pew wise, maybe this is some bias of me enjoying my days playing King's Canyon. I'd say A. I'd put it like D. I'd knock it to a B, but not to a D. I'm gonna be so the more over you split here. the difference. I'm gonna say C. I'm gonna say C. C. Low C. It Listen. wasn't it wasn't that fun to deal with. It's Monsoon fun to land at. Became <laughs> famous. <laughs> Next, power, power grid. grid. F. F. 
is absolutely the worst rotating py in the entire game and i think i think if i give it anything higher i'm just betraying any idea of map design because holy shit i mean yeah. what are they doing there is fight night right here there is a turbine right here there is <laughs> energy depot rift what the fuck are you supposed to do if you want to leave if you want to go all the way into the back where do you got to go you got to go to docks what do you well, do? the true answer is that my team just comes and kills you. Like, that's what actually happens from Fight Night. Yeah, I don't know. I, I actually kind of agree with your point on the rotations thing, though. It definitely does suck because this is like, whenever I say why Olympus shouldn't be played in comp, this is actually the one specific area I think of is this north side of the map where all these POIs are just like sandwiched into each other and they're so close. So I can agree with actually kind of a low rating. Fair enough. You are you are two, some two smart guys, so we could we could drop it down. We could drop it down. Given the fact that you guys rated it at least high enough, I won't actually stick to F. How about E? Yeah. Sure. Yeah, I was going to say not F, F but bottom like, sure. of E. Train Yard is F. Because dropping there, it's got good loot. Train, train, yard train Yard is a hot... Yeah, Train Yard's hot garbage. Okay, hear me out. Hear me out. It, it, it sucked in actual, like, normal play, but in competitive, I felt like one of the most fun things to watch was all these teams trying to cram into the train cars when I was, like, very early on watching. Like, you'd have... I'd be watching, like, Nicewig back then when he was, like, for Put that. Yeet. Yeah, Yeet. Yeet. yeah, it was Yeet. Yeah, Team Yeet. Uh, they would have, like, Gibby, Watson, Wraith up in that train car, and I'd just be watching them the entire time having to fight off everybody trying to pick them off. And it was... It, it was... Okay, Gibby, it's bad. Watson, it's Wraith? bad. They never played... They never played Gibby. They played... Because yeah. uh, no, Wade, Wade, Wade played Path. Well, you know, in some games, he did play Gibby. We oh. had a Gibby era. Yeah, yeah he actually really? he, had he, he claims remember. that he is a top I... five Gibby all time. He's not, but he claims oh, yeah. he is. I forgot <laughs> he's I... not, but he claims I... he is. I mean, wow. just so we're all clear, like he's a roller player played Gibby. Okay, uh, like, no, it's true. Like and yeah, you're gonna tell me that he's fun. better than like Fun <laughs> or Dropped or Lou it's... or even Knock to played <laughs> Gibby on roller. Like, I mean, let's, let's calm down there, Wig. Like, no, yeah, train yard they... death, and I'm gonna stand on this because being the person who would go land Capital City, like to win Capital City, and then have to go to Train Yard, where some kids are just camping up there. This is their first engagement of the game, and they've got like scouts back when the scout was just stupid, or like long bows when it was heavy ammo. Yeah, all right, bud. Like, nah, I'm not dealing with that. Train yard is F. Eat. Or, or all right, yeah, the consensus like... is clear. The consensus is clear. Yeah. Can I at yeah. least put it at top? Yeah, sure. sure. Okay, I get yeah, that. Uh, next up is Rift from Olympus. Rift. Hey. I was gonna say, do you guys call it Rift with like when you play? Yeah. I call, call it Rift. Bubble. You can call it Bubble? No, yeah, I call it, yeah, I call whenever, it Rift. around the time that Olympus dropped, I think it was when the NBA playoffs were happening in the bubble, uh, or sense. it was sometime <laughs> after. And for some reason, we just always called it the Bubble because of that. Yeah, I told well, you I call Rift. it Bubble. <laughs> yeah, he calls it Bubble. You, you wanna know the name I called it for a little bit? What? what? Blue ball. Well, they, yeah, guy, we knew you were gonna say something like that, and that mm -hmm. might mean it goes in PP tier. So I, I put it in PP. Put it in PP. Put it in PP tier. This is your fault. <laughs> this is your fault. You told us you called it blue ball. I called it bubble. That's an innocent yeah. name. You decided uh, to take it there. <laughs> yeah. So that is PP okay. tier. God, I got blue okay. balls from that. You know, what, actually, real quick, why don't I put all of the broken moon POIs together and we yeah. just do them lightning round. Just give the first <laughs> thought that comes to your head, even if you don't know it. Just do it. Foundry. Um. But if you close your eyes. Okay. Moving on. We uh, we already know where this one's going. PP. PP. Just throw it in there. PP tier. No, let's go. Oh. All right. Two PPs. Two PPs. One ball. <laughs> <laughs> That's. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the cage. How are we feeling about the cage? Cage is F. like a great POI. You think F? I say F. What? I hate it. He's just such good. But yeah, but you hate it. But like, it has such good loot. Like it's center map, good rotation, contest that go down there, electric. Uh, you know, TSM won at X Games there. <laughs> that actually was their first game. It was at cage. Now that I think about it, first game win with the 1v1 or maybe that was Poland I don't know <laughs> either way either way I agree F now this is a controversial one phase driver yes S 
bro, those balls are broken. Oh, yeah. Phase driver, like, would be, like, it's yeah. probably the best POI on this map. If it's in comp, it is the best POI on this map. You can yeah. just do the balls infinitely until, like, yeah. now I guess the zone thing kind of screws you over, but... Say balls one more time. You I'm can... going to be tier. You can... <laughs> You can spam those balls, bro. <laughs> those balls are spammable. Uh, Moving okay. on. Barometer. Good because good every POI zone is, never like every zone's on the barrel. I would say like yeah. the biggest thing I don't like about barometer, once you get to a certain point, it becomes absolute hell to try and play in if you aren't getting there early in a zone that's ending there. Because like all of this wa all the water that surrounds it on the north side. Like, once once these areas are filled up in the front, like, what are you supposed to do other than try and evac and hope there's something closer inside that's available? Like, yeah, that's but there's, like, a lot of spots. It's annoying for control. I hate it for control because, like, no one does anything but just fight for B. Zaggle says, screw you, barometer, my favorite place to play. I don't, I'm going to assume that's uh, targeted at J, and I agree. Screw you, J. Wait, I said, like, B. <laughs> It's like low B or high C. <laughs> you know, you said no. He's talking about control. He said about control, and you're the one who said the control thing. <laughs> Screw you, John. <laughs> yeah, I think low B is good. Low like B. I take it over like triple ball. You know, Skull Town. S. S. Not even a question. Yeah. Next one, Gauntlet. Gauntlet. Uh, it was fun. <sighs> It was like that first map that introduced like it's like uh like uh, where you could get guaranteed gold loot mm -hmm. but when i look at the grand scheme of things it's like a c it's like a d even yeah can i can i at least argue for like a high b high b high it's b. tough because like it's, it's tough because like what is our what is our uh, now our criteria is getting all over the place like when i look at b again half like we of got your Oasis, criteria has been history lessons well, like for <laughs> King's Canyon, which I'm literally not even factoring in here. Screw but... you, Jumba, and your history. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Gauntlet's not actually that good. It's just like fun because of the jump it's pads. Fun. Yeah, like... that's all it is. Like, but I, it's like I'm... you could just like play Octane and you get the same fun effect at every other POI on the map. Like... Not to yeah. mention when it came out, the jump pads were terrible at that time. So like it was just a death sentence taking one. Like you barely went in the sky and you like lobbed like a few feet forward. But it, it's still fun. Come on. Come on, Jumbo. I, you can't uh, tell me that you can't land at Gauntlet and have a good time. I land at Gauntlet do. all the time, and exactly. I have a good time. You but, can, we're like, we're but, but there's also the non-fun factor. The other team just like posting up yeah. at the other building, and they don't move. Airbase third parties. There's a little POI. Like it's not even a POI, but like that no name between like Skull Town and Gauntlet. Like I yeah. don't know how to show it. You see like those three buildings. That's arguably better to land that than 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 uh than Gauntlet. Can I go high C? Not high C. No shot high C. Bottom C. It's so much fun. Ah, oh, like but it's, it's like, gotta also, be like it's like really. I, I don't feel like it's that fun. Like it, you just play Octane. <laughs> just, you just play, play Octane. Octane. And then even Docs. We got Docs. But Docs is a good POI. They should be put it there for the end game to being bad. Am, am I, I putting like this it, below it, Atmo Station? Fucking Atmo I Station. I, I can't answer that. <laughs> I would rather play it Atmo. What are you fucking talking about? Hey, we you gotta we gotta decide here. Moon? We gotta decide here. Look how many POIs we got left. We gotta keep it moving. Low C. Hey, wait, did this get bigger? Huh. Anyways. Ooh, baby. Lava Siphon. S. Ooh, you're going S? Even, like, now, like, when you hear teams saying they want to move from it and everything like that? It doesn't erase the fact that every LAN except for Split 2 Playoffs was won by a team playing out of Lava Siphon. I feel like there's no other way to ship that than other than Literally, that. Literally, DZ Harvester is the only other team to ever win a LAN and okay. that wasn't Siphon. And I, I know Lava Siphon is better than what I'm about to say, but I'm going to talk Fun Factor again. I feel that between the two POIs, Lava Siphon is worse than Sorting Factory. Sorting, I mean, I'd put them both S. Sorting Factory is really good too. What I want to argue like... is Lava Siphon at the top of A, given its competitive no, power. It, it has to be S. It has wow. to be S. Every okay. single land except for one has been won by a team playing Lava Siphon. Like, we can't ignore that history. I don't care about the fun factor or uh, ranked or anything. That one competitive fact overcomes damn. everything. It is S tier. So out of curiosity, mm -hmm. when you think about this in relation to Gauntlet. <laughs> yeah? Yeah, go on. Yeah. 
No, that was just a, okay. I just want to sure. Here's the crazy thing that I would actually argue: outside of the fun POIs, like a Skull Town or a Capital City or a Frag, like those kind mm -hmm. of things, I think the most notable POI the game has ever had is Lava Siphon. I Before I even like knew that it was goaded, like from the comp scene, I liked Sorting Factory, you know, and Siphon still continues yeah. that. So I want to go through this then real quick, just see: do we want to keep Mill at the at the top end? Yeah. Or do we yes. want to move it down? Because of no. how we're talking about Lava Siphon. Uh, I think you could literally move better. Siphon up a couple like things, you like if you put, want. Put it like here. I would keep Mill better. Yeah, yeah. put okay. Siphon there, but I would take Mill better because right. the the fact that they can turbo rotate with the Trident is crazy, dude. With Skulltown and Mill still sitting at the top of our list, we were now well into the second half of our rankings, but we were starting to have a problem with one of our created tiers. Okay, not not PB tier, but. Remember lately they used to call this Clitomizer. Just throwing that out <laughs> there. Put it in PP. Just throwing that out there. Put it in PP. <laughs> Spotted Lake. Okay, that actually sounds like a PP. I just want to say, for Spotted, Spotted Lake. Spotted Lake sounds like a PP? Oh, 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 one of my friends, and it's going to be PP because of this, calls it Spotted Dick. Okay, it's there That's you go. Why. It's a PP tier. <laughs> okay, I have to argue this now that we've done this. I think it looks less phallic than something like Carrier, so I think we do have to make PP tier a little bit exclusive. I don't but, think Drill okay. Strike should be PP tier, because if we start going that route, there's a lot of ones that there's we've actually of... already said okay, that okay, I could okay. be putting in a PP yeah, tier. I could, by... I, yeah, that's the thing. I could almost make okay. half these you know what? No, no, no. PP reference. Let's take Spotted Lake out of PP tier. You know what? Take what? Phase Driver, Climo, Spotted Lake all out. But the big balls! A lot of balls. But they're not big. They're not big. They're just balls. But you, like, it doesn't balls. matter the size, Jayhawk. No, I think we need to actually. I think we need to accurately represent that Phase Driver is an S tier POI. Uh, True. Okay, fine. I think I think PP tiers become too big. I do agree with that. I do agree with that. Yeah, Clitomizer put in B. Yeah, but they are two balls. Oh seven to our honorary PP tier. Uh, we need another ball. Yeah. POIs, We're missing though. a ball. We do, yeah. But you know what's wrong? That doesn't make you any less of a man. <laughs> Thunderdome. Oh, Thunderdome is such a go to POI too. Hey, I'd Come say on. A. Yeah, I put A. It's yeah. not Skull Town, but it's like right below. Okay, you know but I mean? it's just as good as Gauntlet. It's way better than Gauntlet. Bridges. Everyone loved Bridges. No, this TSM first, first, first win. We got Gauntlet and C. <laughs> We're not putting yeah. Bridges S, dude. Okay. What is this? <laughs> no, it, needs, it, it needs to be down here. It's not that good. Uh, like it, it, yeah, it's no, a fun it's design, nice. but ac actual area is kind of shit. Yeah, I'd put so, it like D. Yeah, probably. I will put it like there. Sure. This, this is where we were landing on Stormpoint, Stormcatcher. Where did we put Senote? Uh, we put Cenote I'm not saying it's D. as bad as Cenote, but one of the reasons we hate Cenote is Contest, and I hate Stormcatcher Contest. I think it goes in D, too. I mean, Thunderwatch yeah. is also in D, and they, to me, those felt like similar POIs. You just kind of want both. Like, that's yeah, kind of exactly. You know, I'll, I'll so, put, like, I'll I had a map right room. there. Yeah. How about, how about right sure. here? Okay. Sure. That's where yeah. I'm landing, so that's great. Wetlands. Fun POI to fight at, too. Yeah. First, uh, first land ever won the Wetlands. That's the POI. Damn it. <laughs> It is a but like we can move on to that. And TSM! Shout out Golden Boy. Yeah, but it's a bad POI. Yeah, I think D. I'd say D. Probably like mid D. Like here? Sure. Okay. A grow we tower? Are PP? you kidding me? Like, like, the name is Grow Tower. I feel like we gotta put it in PP. It also gets called titties. Yeah. It's called Grow Tower. But that's like, what I'm what? saying. No, no, what saying more grow do you tower. want? That's what I just said. I said that okay. two seconds. I know. I, don't, I know. Okay, but I don't like the idea of something growing and then being twisted like it is on the towers. I really don't like that thought. It's gotta be PP. I don't know what to tell it's you, true. man. That's but what then it is. we also have uh, something in there called blue balls. Which that was you I, too. He, he can't <laughs> shame us for any of these other ones because he is the reason that Rift is there. I called it Bubble, and all of a sudden he decided to call it Blue Ball. It's called Titties. Like there's multiple names <laughs> that are like that. Okay, Slum Lakes. Let's just move on. Uh, like D. It's one of those like additions to Kings Canyon. I wouldn't say it's that bad, especially since we put Crash. I'm also sorry that I keep yawning. You're probably gonna have to cut that out of your video.
I didn't hear any of your. No, aunt. you're not hearing me, but you're just like like you can definitely see oh. him blowing on some of the craziest big yawns. You motherfucker! Yeah. You just made me yawn. Okay. Hey, slum links. Where are you guys putting it? I agree with whatever I said you said. D. You didn't know. You don't even know what he said. You just said I agree with whatever he said. <laughs> Trying to get on to the next one. We're okay. at the tail end here. We're it's like 1 a.m. It's. <laughs> didn't expect this. Just put it in D for God's <laughs> sake. Moreover. <laughs> We both agreed. <laughs> checkpoint, checkpoint, checkpoint. Like B, it's like yeah, a it's super, <laughs> super we're just mid. So done. Sure. Yeah, mid B, mid B. It's yeah, it's like mid B. We're just yeah, over lower than containment. Get I had a this over with. Get this out of here. Gardens to X two, Olympus Gardens. Like top C. I, I I don't like playing end zones at Gardens though, because the team that sits on height. Mm -hmm. mm, that's fair. High C. Yeah, top C. That's what I said. Top oh yeah, you C. did say. Okay, I know it's late, moreover, but come on, man. <laughs> yeah. As the hours went by, we were running out of energy to give for all of these POIs, but we were finally reaching the end, and with one more POI to go, we would find the answer to our question. Pylon was goaded for a little bit, but now it's not because they nerfed it hard. <laughs> they really did. I I <clears throat> feel so bad for that video still. Oh my god. I feel like <laughs> bottom C. No, okay, it can't be bottom C. Come on. Come on, it's still an A tier. It's still A tier. No, it's not. It's, yes, it, it got nerfed so hard, dude. No, I I will not take this slander. It used to have the best loot on the map. Now this it's is not the last like one. I will 10. fight you for it. Like, I, come on, it's still pylon. You still come out of that with like eight bats each. No, you don't. Yeah, you do. I will fight no. you. No. Bottom yeah. A, J says say, C. I would say it's better than launch site. Let's put it. We put it in B. That's the middle. Let's ground. put it in between Dry Gulch Foundry. Sure. That's so fucking low. No, I can't. Moreover, can't... it got nerfed like crazy, dude. <laughs> you don't even drop there for CC. There. Yeah, yeah. You didn't even back it up with your drop spot, dude. It just didn't have a long enough run of being goaded. Like if it had like a couple lands it of being elite, then sure. But it lasted for like like three weeks. Yeah, <laughs> it, it lasted, lasted for nothing. It lasted for half a season. Fuck. <laughs> well, we are now here at the end after three hours and 15 minutes. We have now ranked every single map. In oh, the shoot, game. I saw those last four. I'm like, what are you talking about? Okay, that's... I, we already I did those. Know. We did them. We did them. We're good. After Jumbo ruined my outro, it's time for us to finally announce what is the best POI in Apex Legends. And the reward goes to... Skulltown! But Skulltown got nuked back in Season 5, so Mill is our best POI in Apex Legends. Uh, you know, I, I think the one thing we should maybe revisit is moving Gauntlet <laughs> lower. Um, nope. Well, I'm your opinion real close is for one second. And I'm gonna say this. I bring it real close, and I just say this. Me and Jay Hawk do not approve of this message with a gauntlet there. I'm gonna get real close. I'm gonna get real close. I just want everyone to know that like half of these POIs, I, I. Oh no, you can no longer hear them because I muted them. Okay, well, thank you so much for coming on by. He deleted Call my camera too. <laughs> I'm uh, yeah, silence. Can't even, can't even, can't even, can't even, can't even read your lips. That's crazy. All right. Well, thank you very much for coming to watch today's uh, tier list. I hope you all enjoyed. Uh, we're going to be showing this to everybody as the de facto tier list that uh, no one ever can refute. Otherwise, hi. This has been Moreover. Have a lovely day.